Hi, welcome to CSFC Chemistry Department. Um, it is a short presentation. Firstly, I'm going to talk about why you should take A-level chemistry, and second, why you should take it with us at Cardiff Sixth Form. So chemistry is looking at different materials, studying chemical reactions, and actually making new materials, whether those are drugs, medicines, or actual materials. And also it's um, looking at the chemicals of life, biochemistry, etc. Lots of things you can do with the chemistry A level. Um, this is from the Royal Society uh, site, and um, it really emphasizes the fact that not all chemists end up wearing white coats. There's many, many different um, areas, fields that they can go into. If you don't want to do sciences at uni, chemistry is still a very well regarded A level course. Employers have a high regard for it, as do the universities, and that's because it develops lots and lots of different skills, such as your thinking skills, logical skills, and it's chemists are valued, people with chemistry A level are valued because they can solve problems and they can apply their knowledge to new situations. Lots of our A-level chemists go on to very different occupations. Some of them end up being chemists, but as you can see, there are a variety of occupations, variety of university courses that they can follow with an A-level chemist, uh, chemistry A-level. Chemistry is essential for medicine, but of course it opens doors to a lot of different careers. And in fact, my own son, has ended up doing accountancy, but he took maths, history and chemistry, and it certainly was valued when he went uh, for interview and when he came to write his personal statement. He's never actually used his chemistry, but the skills that he learned doing chemistry A-level have proved invaluable. Something about the A-level course now. In Wales, it's still divided into AS and A2 and we take the WJEC specification. At AS Chemistry, there are two units. The first unit bridges the gap between GCSE and A-level. The second unit um, starts about January through to Easter and comprises energy, rates, things that they've covered at GCSE, which we go into in more detail at A-level, and organic chemistry. There is also a practical component and we deliver this through doing 12 compulsory practicals which need to be written up throughout the year. Then at AS we examine with two written papers in Easter and in June. Um, both are the same, or at least both for, they follow the same format, i.e. they're 90 minutes and comprise of a, of a variety of different questions, short answers and longer questions, and they make up in total 40% of the marks for A-level. There is no assessment in the first year for the practical. At A2, again, we have two units, physical and inorganic chemistry, followed by organic chemistry and analysis, which builds, up, builds on what we learned at AES. And the practical component, again, uh, comprises of 12 compulsory practicals. Examinations are very similar, but a little bit longer. So this time, one hour, 45 minutes for each of the theory exams, again in the summer, and they comprise 50% of the total. And then the practical component is examined by an experimental task and also a written paper, and that comprises the remaining 10%. The next couple of slides summarise why you should consider taking A-level chemistry at Cardiff Sixth Form. The first is, of course, our results. We have excellent results, as you know. And here is a summary of our results from the last two years. We have excellent monitoring. So students take three what we call EPs, so three exams throughout the year. And this year, they'll also be doing additional multiple choice question assessments. Our homeworks are very comprehensive and comprise structured questions and multiple choice questions. And then if we 
Because we monitor our students so well and we regularly assess them, we can quickly pick up students that are not making the progress that we think they should be and we offer them support sessions. And of course, there are drop-in sessions for everybody. These run each week, one or two each week. Excellent teaching. We have a lot of experience in the teaching department. We have a maximum of 16 students per class. Um, my maximum is actually 15, and I think I have another class of 13. We have a lot of lessons. We have seven 45-minute lessons, theory lessons per week. And we also, which I think makes us unique, have dedicated practical lessons weekly. Finally, we have excellent students, and I hope you choose to join us and become one of our excellent students. About 130 of CSF students choose to study AS chemistry with us. That's a large majority of the students. And again, most of them go on to study A2 with us as well. So what we require from you is a good GCSE level chemistry. I appreciate that not everybody does GCSE level chemistry, so the equivalent. Good level math skills, and as you can see, commitment, an inquiring mind, and an enjoyment of practical work will always help. So I'll hand you over to Mr. Madden to take any questions. Uh, thank you, Dr. Davis. Excellent presentation. I'm happy to take any questions from anyone in the room. To become a vet, is it important to take chemistry? To become a vet, chemistry is the essential A level because they will teach you biology A level from, they will teach you biology from scratch in veterinary courses and medical courses. They all do. They start with a cell and they teach you intensively, uh, teach you intensive biology in the first year of your, your medical or vet med course. But chemistry cannot be taught from scratch. It's the one A level you've definitely got to have. Okay, that answers that one. That's an easy one. Anything else? Yeah, chemistry is always the central, central A-level, isn't it, of all the sciences. A GCSE program, um, we use international IGCSE, which is Edexcel, I believe, Dr. Davis. You're the expert on IGCSE. Yes, Edexcel. Yeah. Thank you. IGCSE. Um, it's the new, there's a new specification that started in 2017. That's the one we use. So it's level nine to one. Mm, thank you. And it's a one year GCSE program. So quite intensive then, yes? Mm. Yeah. I like to think of chemistry as the central science. You know, yep. physics, physics and biology borrow from chemistry. You know, if you if you drawn if you drawn a Venn diagram, there'd be three circles, and the central circle overlapping the other two would be chemistry, of course. Right. Any, I'll answer that. Sorry, sir. I'll answer on. that one from Rhiannon. Um, right. Welsh medium to English and chemistry. My daughters went through. My daughter and my son both went through. Welsh medium. One went to Plasmaud and one went, one went to Glantarg. Where are you coming from? Right, come on me. Um, one found it difficult, one didn't find it difficult. We also have students that in school with us at the moment, and I can't remember their names, who I think at least one who has now gone through to year 13. And I think there is one in year 12 as well who have made that switch as well. Quite frankly, in chemistry, it's not that difficult because at the end of the day, you've always got equations, symbols that, you know, it's an international language. You've also got to remember that other students are coming from countries in which they will have studied chemistry in Russian 
or Azeri or loads of different languages. So you won't be the only person that's changing over to learning it in a different language. Um, I think at first you may find it a little bit strange, but after that, I think I think you will find it quite easy to switch. Uh, quite a few people have done that. Quite a few of our local students have come through yeah. with a very, very Welsh speaking backgrounds yeah. and all their science through Welsh. Yeah. They've, they've made the transition. It, 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 it can take a, take a bit of time, but they can make the, they've made the transition and they yeah. almost inevitably yeah. end up with A stars like everybody else. Yes. And, and don't forget that, you know, English is the language of science. It's the international language. So I think, I think it is beneficial to do it through the medium of English. English. Even though I support Welsh if language e education. If, if English is the language of science, then Welsh is the language of heaven. Exactly. Um, combination for medicine, biology, chemistry, maths, I would suggest. But again, I have ex anecdotal experience of people getting into med school with um, history as an alternative, RS as an alternative. But I would certainly say biology and chemistry. I agree with that. Unfortunately, folks, we've, we've uh, been told to to end it there because the next class, the next department is about to present. Thank you, Dr. Davis, and thank thanks to everyone for for attending. And uh, if anybody needs any further information, then get in touch with me by email, martin.madden at ccoex.com. Um, and uh, I'll look forward to any any further questions. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.